The U.S. government may give Chevy Volt buyers a payday. GM's Bob Lutz squares off against Stephen Colbert, and a silent Jaguar stalks the Nurburgring. I'm Alex Gazella, and this is Fastlane Daily. If the U.S. House of Representatives has its way, future buyers of the Chevrolet Volt could be in the money. Yesterday, the House put its stamp on Democrats' energy bill H.R. 6899. That's the one critics call the offshore drilling bill. But it's not all about oil. The bill also lays out a tax credit for so-called new qualified plug-in electric drive motor vehicles. The credit starts at $3,000 and adds 200 bucks for every battery kilowatt hour over 5 kilowatts to a maximum of $5,000. At that rate, the Chevy Volt at 16 kilowatts would score a grand total tax credit of... Five grand? All right. Well, right now, GM's the only car maker that's announced a plug-in electric vehicle for sale in the U.S. The new credit will have a lifespan of 60,000 vehicles per company, just like the original tax incentives for non-plug-in hybrids. Of course, if the bill passes the Senate, the plug-in hybrid credit would go into effect after December 31st, 2008. And speaking of Chevy, GM Vice Chairman Bob Lutz faced off with Stephen Colbert last night on The Colbert Report. Lutz talked about the new vault and, prompted by Colbert, again admitted that he doesn't buy into the CO2 theory of global warming, that the vault doesn't run on a trunk full of potatoes, and that it may give Colbert better luck with a certain community of women. Hmm, let's watch. If you're driving an electric vehicle, your attitude should be that you do not want to lay rubber. You want to get, you want to get, you want to do zero How emissions. How about this? Is it sexy? Will it get me laid? Um, I, I think so. You might have uh, a bunch it of... It might change the type of woman I'm attracted, exactly, maybe. You're exactly. Gonna, you're you're going to get a lot of uh, very nice, uh, no-makeup, environmental... A little women. crunchier. A little crunchier. Lutz also told Colbert that charging the vault from the cigarette lighter of his Hummer would likely mitigate any gains in fuel economy. And if a faster, lighter Nissan GTR is fine with you, you can put away the Ouija board and multicolored lozenges. According to Motor Authority, Nissan executives confirmed a new GTR Spec V is indeed in the works. Last month, Nissan's in-house tuning shop Nismo revealed a new upgrade package for the GTR, including a titanium exhaust, six-spoke alloys, and new body kit panels. And GTR prototypes said to be fitted with the new Spec V package have once again been spotted at the Nurburgring. No word yet on performance specs, but the speculation meter suggests the car could appear as early as next month's Paris Motor Show. Well, next up, a very stealthy Jaguar shows up on a very famous German racetrack. That's in the Internet Rumor Mill right after this. Shut down the streets. Fire up the music. The Power Block and Capitol Records Nashville invite you to the Capitol Pub Crawl 2. Thursday, September 18th. Join Power Block host Courtney Hansen with the entire Power Block team. For cars, stars, and guitars. Featuring Trace Atkins and Darius Rucker. It's a free concert and your chance to see Project HRT. And the hot bike before the giveaway. Go to PowerBlockTV.com for more. The Capitol Pub Crawl 2. Sponsored by Royal Purple Synthetic Motor Oil. Love Fast Lane Daily? Love your TV? Well, now you can TiVo your FLD fix so it can be fast and fresh whenever you want it. Too much of a computer nerd to use a TV? Well, no problem. We're on YouTube and VO2, so go check it out right now. Conspiracy theorists, grab your tinfoil hats and start pedaling. Spies have been tracking a strange Jaguar XK that's undergoing development testing on Germany's Nürburgring. Spy shooters on location caught images of the test mule, which has sparked an online debate as to its origin. That question isn't so much what it looks like, but what it sounds like. Photographers say the Mystery XK was suspiciously quiet as it blazed around the 13-mile race course. Locals speculate the Jag could be hiding some sort of hybrid powertrain in shakedown tests. Next Auto says it's looking into the matter. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Well, that wraps up Vaseline Daily for today. I'm Alex Gazella, and I will see you later. Next New Networks, exclusive video partner for the Web 2.0 Expo, September 16th through the 19th. Fastlane Daily fans, save $100 with our exclusive code.